The idea was to, I think, have an event so that we would be able to work with the teachers and kids on inquiry projects over as long a period of time as we could. 250 kids, majority of them were 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th graders, but we also had a couple of project groups that were included um, some uh, in, uh, primary age kids, kindergarten, 1st, 2nd grade. A couple of days after the salt water Some teachers have been working for months on these types of projects. Some people had um, wanted to start new projects and wanted to kind of take inquiry in a new direction. So they started just in the last couple of months. Um, and so some of these things were things that were put together just in the last few weeks, but a lot of them were things that have been carried on throughout the entire school year. So from many different aspects, it's, it's been at least a year long process that all came um, to a head today. I work mostly with the teachers at School 67, and so we would meet um, every other week for several months, and we really just talked about what it meant to do inquiry and how to, what did it mean to think like that, and, and what would they have to do to support the kids to, to think like that and do projects like that. And so it definitely was um, a different way of thinking, you know, much more um, open based on students' questions. Um, facilitating by the teachers so that the kids could make decisions about which questions they were interested in investigating, so much more open-ended and student-focused. The most they don't get enough energy from the sun, yeah. that they were then toward the sun. We did some research on the computers and all that. I would say it ran the whole gamut from sort of physical science, electricity, magnetism, to um, you know, biological plants and humans, and then even like infrastructure, uh, the community one from the project school. So there, there was really no holds barred. Um, and some, even the kids that were interested in investigating why iPhones worked, the touch screen from making the games. So really, whatever they were interested in, um, capturing that thinking process. Um, there was a little girl who did a project about Alzheimer's. And when she really got asked some hard questions, it came out that she was trying to relate more to her grandfather who had been diagnosed. And so not only did she learn about the disease, but she learned about how to interact with her grandfather now as the, um, as the disease advances. Um, there were kids that had things that looked very traditional, like the volcano. But then when you talked about what you do with the model, and you talked about, wow, not only did you build this model and make it explode, but you dumped water on it, and that related to the volcano that just went off, went off in Iceland. And why can't we dump water on top of the Iceland or the volcano in Iceland? All these different things that, at times, if you just stepped in the room and looked quickly, looked very traditional, science fair type stuff. When you actually engage with the kids, there are so many different ideas that they have and, and their passion was really coming through in the topic that they chose and the question that they pursued. Our first day when we started um, doing this was um, April, April 23rd, 2010. Well, the plants grew large, but the ones in the cup got moldy, so. When you listened to what they were talking about, they were actually talking about their projects and other things that they had seen. And yeah, there were some kids that were talking about what they were going to do next weekend or what they had just done, but it was amazing how much of the conversation was actually about the things that they had talked about today at the Kids Inquiry Conference. So just the fact that they were still talking about it through their lunch period shows that they were actually engaged in what was going on, not only while they were doing it at their school, but then actually when they brought it here to IUPUI today. We try to see if they grow inside the cart, and only, only mine grew. I thought it was great. I mean, I loved having all the kids in the commons together, seeing 250 kids sitting there, um, just being together was fantastic, and then giving them an opportunity to come down to the classrooms and be in smaller groups where they could have a chance to view uh, the work of other kids, plus have these facilitated discussions by the interns and the teachers that were here. I think they were, uh, you know, very serious-minded about it. Um, so it was a lot of logistics, but I think it all worked in the end.